Hey guys, welcome to another five minute rounds. I hope everybody's having a fabulous hump day. It's Wednesday. Um, I've got an interesting case that came across my desk yesterday that I wanted to show you for five minute rounds today. So this is a 10 year old male intact dog that has a history of um, two weeks of, a, of decreased appetite. Was brought into the vet who, had, who did a, a physical exam and found a soft and very painful mass, non-discrete mass in the area of the popliteal lymph node. And then the dog also had <clears throat> um, a fever of 104.3 degrees Fahrenheit. And on radiographs, the dog had pneumonia in its right middle and accessory lung lobes. Also had a significant neutrophilia and monocytosis on blood work. So this is an aspirate of that subcutaneous mass in the popliteal area. And we're on 10x right now, so we're pretty far back. But one thing, it's very cellular, so that's always good, right? We want cells to look at in cytology. And when we get closer, you'll be able to see this better. But um, this is very inflamed. So all these cells down here are inflammatory cells. And this is very representative of the whole slide. I did a nice 10x scan to make sure that there wasn't anything else on here, but there's not. It's just this marked inflammation. So when we're closer up to these cells, now we're on 40, or um, um, sorry, we're on 20x, you can start to see that these are mostly neutrophils. They're really broken up and falling apart, um, and all these little blue dots in the background are actually little bits of <clears throat> uh, nuclear material that have just broken up from these cells. Um, and we'll look at that a little bit closer, but you also have a bunch of cellular debris. All this crud all over are just nucleated cells that are falling apart in this significant inflammatory lesion. So let's go up to 60x oil, just so you can see these cells a bit better. And yeah, let's turn up light. So you can see all that crap everywhere, all that little debris all over the place more nuclear material, so you just got to ignore that. I've also got some macrophages in here. Here's a nice macrophage, another macrophage, and lots and lots of neutrophils. So this is a very inflamed lesion in this area. And one thing I want you to think about is the history in this patient. So this dog is from Illinois in the U.S. And, um, you know, he has a fever, he has pneumonia on radiographs, he's got skin lesions. So what's something that you might be thinking of that this could potentially be or that definitely should be on your differential list if you live in the southern or midwest United States or somewhere else that might have this. So just be thinking about that. Well, as I'm moving around, I came across these. Right there. I'm going to find a better one for you, but right here cuddled up next to this bubble is blasto so this is blastomyces dermatitidis which is a dimorphic fungus that you find in the environment and that animals inhale and then that fungal infection disseminates to the rest of the body and can show up in any location i mean these can go anywhere i've seen them in um testicles before uh, they go to lymph nodes there's another one there oh, sorry my stage is kind of drifting but there's another one there and these guys are very uh, refractile which means when I focus in and out they kind of shine I'm actually going to go back to 10x really quick oh sorry light and one quick tip I'm kind of jumping around a little bit but one quick tip when you're looking for blasto is you know we have we need to have blasto on our differential list with a history like this um, and so you might be thinking okay I'm gonna look for blasto well one tip is to back up to 10x it seems a little counterintuitive because you're pretty far back but look for these dark blue spots where inflammatory cells are crowding around because um, that will help you spot these and so then you can go down to higher objective once you see them and look at them closer so here's a beautiful one right here. Let me turn the light up. Yeah, so these are very characteristic of blasto. Some people call them um, uh, budding blue balls or big budding blue balls um, because that's what blasto looks like. It's got these nice little bud here, but double contoured refractile cell wall, meaning that it's got this kind of double layer, but very beautiful classic blastomyces. So stinks for this dog, but we have an answer right here on the cytology, which is my favorite um, and can give um, get this dog started on treatment.